Greetings, Ashen here with another Indie Comics in Review. Today I'm going to be talking about Blue Flame. This is a new comic book series from Vault Comics. Yes, and when I saw this coming out, I couldn't help but notice it had this classic feel about the covers and the story that kind of drew me in and made me feel interested. So I went out of my way and I purchased the 1 in 15 cover and I also got the 1 in 75 cover, which is really cool. As you can see here, part of the cover is foil pressed. Looks really nice. I think it's very classic. And uh, when I saw this at Emerald City Comics, I just knew that uh, this cover would be coming with me. Now, of course, that was a risk in picking up a more expensive issue, but I just had a feeling, and my feeling about series are usually not wrong. So without any spoilers whatsoever, I do recommend this book if you want to check it out. I am not going to spoil everything about this story, though, so if you continue, it will not have the story completely wiped out for you. There's a lot to love here. Starting with this, this little opening scrawl here, very classic feeling, sets up the story nicely for the cosmic element that we are introduced to with Blue Flame visiting an alien world, almost as if he is summoned there. Once he is on the planet, he is approached by the alien race that dwells there, and out of curiosity more than anything else, he follows them to where they lead. We come to find out that he is a very important guest as... It is him that will be in the center spotlight of an intergalactic trial. All right, and that's one of two story arcs that's contained within this book. The second one goes down to modern day Earth, where we get to know Blue Flame as a regular person in a normal job. However, on this side is a superhero persona. In this role, he is more of a vigilante than a superpowered superhero. Not only that, but he has a whole team of super friends that he hangs out with in their little vigilante brigade. One thing that I really like is how human all these characters feel. It's not like some over-the-top gods amongst humans sort of storyline here. We have very down-to-earth people that have their own personal everyday issues, but sort of do this on the side for their own various reasons. They call themselves the Night Brigade. And we quickly find out that there is a romance between Blue Flame and another member called Thea. Even though he might act cool and collected, and he's often the crowd's favorite, Blue Flame underneath it all is just a regular person and lacks the confidence sometime that his persona never shows. But I really do like this relationship aspect to the story. Shortly after getting to know everyone, tragedy strikes. And the intermingling of past and present starts there. I really enjoy how this comic sets up a story that's going to challenge the reader. Because at this point, the ending could go in so many different directions. I love it so far. It has a very classic feel. It's one hell of a debut issue. I can't pick out one weak point to this. The story is so well written. The characters feel real. Blue Flame looks like an iconic hero that would fit into any universe, really. The science fiction elements keep you enthralled. And the weight of the situation is as shocking as it is intriguing. If this series can keep up this pace with this quality, I think it is going to be a legendary run and the birth of a new major character. So my advice is, if you've not picked up Blue Flame number 1 from Vault Comics, find some way to get it, because if you don't, I think you're going to be missing out on something great. Anyways, I hope you found this informative and potentially convinced you to give this series a little look-see. I think we're in for something special. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Yes.